welcome to Trinity Lutheran Church and Trinity Lutheran Christian School. We're so happy that you are with us today as we have our morning devotions. Today our devotion comes from John chapter 4 verse 23 and it's entitled Wherever We Worship. A time is coming and has now come when the true worshipers will worship the Father in the spirit and in truth. For they are the kind of worshipers the Father seeks. I want to tell you a story about a lady who suffered from debilitating migraine headaches. And even though we are kind of moving through some of the COVID uh, stipulations right now with regard to what is going to go on with worship services and the like with all of that, she was unable to attend because of the headache. So she watched online, even though she wanted to be in person. She actually was grieving the loss of being in community worship. She watched online. She watched the online sermons. At first, she felt the quality of the production, and that soured her experience. And I know that, you know, talking to tech people here, sometimes technology just doesn't cooperate, and we get upset, as this lady did, with regard to what was going on in worship. But then there was a song, and I'm going to torture you here in a minute uh, with singing it, because, uh, you know, I'm, it was a song my mom really liked. She heard this song on the video during the worship service, and it kind of changed and softened her heart, and she talked about tears flowing. So here it is. Be thou my vision, O Lord of my heart, not be all else me to save that thou art thou my best thought by day or by night waking or sleeping thy presence my light probably three uh, notes higher than it should have been I uh, but you get the picture Worship can occur anywhere and any place in our life. Our tie to the Holy Spirit is what is the important link here. And our Lord and Savior looks for those links. Two of the most worshipful places for me are places that one would never, ever expect. One is walking here on the side in the morning greeting families, and really from 5.55 to 6.30, there's not a whole lot of activity except today because there was an accident on 95, but it's time when I can reflect on my evening on the day before and ask God for guidance for what's going to happen that particular day. And another one is up in what I like to refer as kind of our catwalk area here. I'm able to look out over the parking lot and I can see the color of the trees changing. And in the winter, I can see the glistening of snow on the trees. And on a bright sunny day, I can see the splendor of God's light upon us. There are none of those are in the sanctuary here. But yet that time that I'm able to spend with the Lord is so special in those areas that it's probably as special as being here in the sanctuary at Trinity or at Calvary where I'm a member or at Grace where I conduct services. You see, our Lord looks for those opportunities to worship with us. And as the lady who was unable to be with her church community, and she lamented not being able to have that opportunity, she still took time to worship him. Today, Thursday, take time to thank our Lord and Savior and worship him. Have a blessed day today.
in the Lord.